Hello and welcome to this session on Hive. So Hive is basically a data warehouse tool which is used to analyze the structured data. It can also help in uh, semi-structured data as well. It is something which was built by Facebook. It is now open source, it is free. You can download and install it. Now if you look at the Hadoop 1.0 architecture that we have discussed early in the course and now we mentioned that the programs were developed using something called as a map reduce you had to program so map reduce was built on java so if you know java then you can leverage map reduce but then if you don't know java or if you didn't know java then there was no scope of leveraging the big data technology so that that's the reason why many firms came forward many projects came forward to build different tools uh, that they can use to leverage the data big data right so one of them was hive uh, the other is spark which we will uh, learn in the coming session but there are quite a lot of tools so how Hive works is basically you have the data in the hdfs and then you create a table you create a hive table this is very similar to your normal relational database table now this table will refer to the data in the hdfs location so when you query this table internally this is going to go to this file system and it is going to pick up the selected data from this file system and it is going to print it on the screen or give it back to you so it is very easy to use uh, if you know sql this is damn easy uh, most of the sql queries we can use it in a hive as well uh, there are certain changes but they are very very uh, small changes but yes so hive stores is metadata in hive meta store the hive meta store is basically a relational database uh, it shows the metadata related to the tables the schemas that you create you know all these things are stored in the meta store so when you create a new hive table the information related to that table uh, meaning the column names the data types the table names everything is stored in the hive meta store hive by default use hive uses uh, derby database for its meta storage now if you look at the features of hive uh, it is open source right as we mentioned it is an open source which was developed by facebook it is very similar to your sql the hive query language is very similar to your sql so if as we progress throughout the course you will see that so most of the uh, syntax or the select queries that we use are very very similar to your sql hive is schema on read what it means it if you have a structure and you're trying to insert the data into this structure now in normal traditional databases uh, your data should match with your structure right suppose you have four columns that you've created in a table and if you're trying to insert a record which has three columns or five columns then it will throw up an error right because it's not matching but here in hive it will allow you to insert this data because it is not going to do any checks while it's trying to insert the data but when it reads the data when you query the data it will go to the meta store it will fetch the information and it will validate the data that's where you will see this issue so Hive will enforce the schema while it is reading or retrieving the data from the HDFS. It can be used as an ETL tool. Uh, you can have transformations. I know a lot of projects which use Hive as an ETL and it can process huge amount of data. It has the concept of partitioning and bucketing. So we will learn this in a separate session. It's a data warehouse tool as we have uh, mentioned earlier. It is basically used for analytical purpose. So in fact, most of the big data, in fact, all of the big data tools we use for analytical purpose because we want to process a large amount of data. This is not for transactional purpose. So there will be limits on how we do the DMS. Uh, mostly I have never seen a scenario where we have to do any DML operation. And it's not the case as well. Uh, it's not the case that we use DML. Uh, most of the projects, in fact, all of the projects uh, they are basically using for ETL purpose or for doing analytical purpose definitely not for OLTP there are different file formats that we can work on uh, we have seen the serialized file formats like ORC, Parquet, Avro so all these file formats can be used uh, in Hive now and then uh, there are also projects where uh, you know you have the BI tools they plug in to your hive you retrieve the data from hive and then uh, 
publish the data on the data visualization tool right so it it has compatibility with the bi tools as well you can connect your bi tools with hive and get all this data from hive so these are some of the features of hive and uh, coming to the limitations so it's not basically a limitation but it's kind of a feature that you know it's not for your oltp right it is basically for your olap now sub queries you can create sub queries but you know uh, it has very limited support for sub queries because as i mentioned it is more of an analytical thing so your aggregations or your simple select that's where your hive queries are used predominantly but not for having a lot of sub queries a uh, latency is a little bit of on the higher side so you will see that when you do a query it will because internally it has to invoke the map reduce job and then it has to go and fetch the meta store get the data all the stuff so your latency you will see is a little bit on the higher side uh, not really that big but yes uh, it's but it's something that uh, you have to uh, keep in mind while using hive and dml operation support is there but then you have to satisfy a lot of conditions to make sure that you are able to do the dml operations most project uh, again this is something uh, we don't use it for hive this is basically for olap not for your dml operations and uh, not for real time queries uh, the reason is basically your second point or third point where we say like there is some latency so if you are if you want a the data on real time basis hive may not be the right candidate for you because it will take its time to uh, give back the results but then yes uh, there are these are some of the limitations of hive so uh, that's the uh, theory part of this and uh, in your coming in the coming sessions we will start hands on and uh, we will create the tables and see how how and see how hive is working with the data so I hope this is clear and uh, I'll see you guys in my next class.